refining your SEO or search engine optimization is crucial to your online marketing success. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to show you how the WordPress SEO by Yoast plugin can help you create content that is rich in keywords. Now, I'm currently editing a draft of an article that I want to upload to my website. If I scroll downwards, you'll see that there is now a dedicated section for Yoast SEO with a few different tabs. Let's focus on this first general tab. You can see here that there's a preview of what my post might look like if it turns up in any Google searches. We'll come back to this later on. Now here, this is where you enter in your focus keyword. I've already entered my keyword, or rather phrase, which is law of attraction, because my article is all about the law of attraction. When you've entered your keyword or phrase, Yoast SEO will tell you how many times you have used the keyword in this article. Think of this section as a checklist, so you should try to use your focus keyword at least once in each of these. I've already used it in one of my article headings, once in my page title, I've also used it 11 times in my content, and also twice in the meta description, which is this chunk over here. However, it says here that I haven't included my keyword in the in-page URL, so let's fix that right now. I'm going to go to the top of the page and edit this permalink. I'm going to change this 200 to Law of Attraction, so that it increases the chances of my article being pulled up in searches. And if you'll scroll down, you'll notice that this red No is still here, even though I just updated the permalink. This is because your changes haven't been updated yet, so go ahead and click Update first. Now that we've updated this, I'm going to scroll down again, and you'll see this time that we have successfully updated our page URL to include our focus keyword. Moving on, just below this focus keyword bit is this field for you to specify your SEO title. That's the title that you see up here, in the snippet preview. This title was generated by Yoast SEO, based off my website name and focus keyword. But if you want, you can change the title to something else, as long as you include your keyword in it. Alright, let's go on to the next tab, Page Analysis. You can either click on the tab or click on Check, which will bring you to the same page. So I'm going to click on this tab, and you'll see that Yoast SEO has compiled some data, which can help you further refine your post for SEO. It will tell you the things which you're doing right, indicated by the green circles. And it will also tell you the things you can improve on, indicated by orange or yellow. Do note that some of these may or may not apply to you. For example, this says that I should consider removing the of from my keyword, but I can't really do that since the law of attraction is a complete phrase, and it doesn't work if I remove the of. Basically, you should read through this list and pay special attention to the things that are marked by yellow and orange. Try your best to turn their indicators green by going back to your article or post and making the recommended amendments. The more green indicators you have, the better your SEO. Once you've done this, just click Update. Check that your SEO is good and you're ready to publish. There are more things that you can do with Yoast SEO, but if you can just fix these things, you're already well on your way to generating greater traffic for your website.